Hey everybody, this is Jessica Lynn of Jessica Lynn Original. I am the owner and artist of our company. Be sure to visit our website. We would love to have you visit. Now today, I thought it'd be fun if we did a project that could be used for multiple purposes. One, it could be Christmas card tags, or if you were doing a craft fair, I love to create weird tags, price tags. And so one of the things I did this season was I actually made little Wisconsin shaped tags and they were a huge hit. Everyone loved them. So I thought I would share my process with you. Just if you want to learn how to do it, it's extremely easy. Um, to be able to cut multiple though, you will need some kind of Cricut, Brother Scan and Cut, etc. Uh, to be able to do that. Or you could even use a die cut. You know, use a die cut multiple times, like just an interesting outline to make your own tags. So I'm going to use the Brother Scan and Cut. And the paper that I'm using, it's a 12 by 12 stock that I bought at Joann Fabrics quite a long time ago. I absolutely love it. And basically what I did was I have already scanned in the image. Now I'm going to link below a video if you want to learn how to do this. It's really easy. Um, I found the outline of the state of Wisconsin. If you've watched other cards, it was something that I had already done. So I'll link that video. But what I can do is take this state and I can resize it and then I can put an entire 12 by 12 page together of this. Now I want to make sure that it's still big enough that I could write a price on it or again if you're going to use it as a Christmas tag you could cut out a snowflake shape, a Santa shape, an outline of a stocking, a star, anything like that and then just write to and from etc. So same kind of process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this resized image and I'm going to save it as a new um, image file, if that makes any sense. So when you create files on the Brother Scan and Cut, basically you're making die cut files, right? So there's my new die cut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep adding enough to fill up an entire row. And then what I'll do is save that one. And then once I do that, I can multiply that a couple of times and then I can fill an entire sheet. So the real trick is to make sure you optimize the entire row and then I saved it and now you can see I imported it in to do an entire page. So look at all those little states it's going to cut. Now again, it's all based off the size that you make the state or the tag, right? And then the nice part is, is it'll just go ahead and cut the entire 12 by 12 sheet for me. So I'm going to go ahead, let my brother scan and cut do its thing and then we'll take a look at just some quick versions of how I use these. While they're finishing cutting, one of them actually popped off so I could see how it looked as a preview and I love them. They are perfect for Christmas gift tags. They are also perfect for craft fair, for price tags. That's how I used mine. And so then I wrote the price on there with my company name. I thought it looked so cool. And my dog, he is 15 years old. His name is Strider and he is the best companion ever. He is very loyal and loves to be up here when I'm putting crafts together. So there he is, he's sleeping. Now let's go ahead and sort these and what you can do is just take a whole punch of whatever size, the large one or the tiny one, 
punch a hole in these, run the little ribbon through there, you can make them as price tags. Or if you just want to make them two froms, you can go ahead and actually um, just put a to and from right on there, right on them. Look at how many it cuts, so that could package up a lot of gifts. A little bit of brown uh, craft paper is what I picture, some bright red candy cane stripe ribbon, and then these really fun two from Wisconsin tags. How cool would that be if you were like a small business owner and you wanted to provide just that extra special wrapping? Or if you knew this was going to someone who lived in another state who was missing home, missing whatever state it may be. I mean, ours here is Wisconsin, but you could cut out any shape, state, or any even shape for that matter. Just a side note, again, my name is Jessica Lynn. I'm the owner of Jessica Lynn Original. We make custom rubber stamps. So if you were making tags like this, we could make your logo on a red rubber stamp that you could then stamp right onto the tags. So that would be so much fun, like on the back side. And then on the front, you could put your price tag. Or if it was a to and from, you could just use a to and from stamp. Or we can make you a custom to and from stamp if you wanted something that always would fit for your company. Now for my example here, I just I, I made a really quick little clear photopolymer stamp just to stamp it on there so you could see. Um, but our website, we're currently only making custom red rubber stamps. But you can see I'm going to put some ink on there and I can just stamp it right down on my tag. And I absolutely love the way this looks. I think it is such a fun tag. It's what I use for my craft fairs. I just stamp the Jessica Lynn Original on one side and then the pricing on the other. And then whenever anyone purchased anything at our craft fair, um, we went ahead and just gave them the tag because it was almost like an extra advertisement. Now the option I had here that I thought of was that maybe you write the price right there on the front of the tag with your logo. And I wanted to try it out. I tried a white ink pen and that did not work out nearly as good. So I'd probably use the black ink pen because you want it to be nice and bold for when people see it and easy to read. But I did try um, the white pen. It's a uniball. It's okay. It didn't do quite what I was hoping. So I'd probably encourage you to use black pen. Well, I hope that this inspired you. Um, I hope that you are inspired to now try something a little different. You know, don't forget making something like if you're going to a craft fair that just sort of stands out a little bit from the normal, will definitely get you those extra people questioning or loving what you're doing. Again, my name is Jessica Lynn and I am the owner of Jessica Lynn Original. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like below. Take care, everybody.